Welcome to this uh, tutorial on how to paint uh, your Alpha Legion Primaris armor with uh, the Curve Shift metal paint from Green Stop World. I'm using Psychotic Illusions. It's an awesome color, makes it uh, this color shifting green, aqua green blue with a love with the uh, Alpha Legion. Okay, first step. Uh, assemble the model of course, uh, prime it black. I've used the uh, Chaos Black Spray Cam from uh, Citadel. Uh, it's really, yeah, this is a good, really nice shine. Then uh, we're gonna apply uh, the color shift paint with an airbrush. Uh, I don't, for those who ask, I don't think you can use it with a brush. I haven't succeeded in anyone. Have, please comment below. So, uh, we're gonna give the model three layers uh, in total uh, and let it dry be between the layers. So, let's go. Sort of for the compressor. Uh, with, this is the first layer done. Uh, I, need, I need it to dry a bit before I go and apply the second one. But uh, when I do th three really thin layers, so it dries pretty easy. Yeah, it dries already. I try to angle the airbrush from different col uh, different angles. Just uh, get, get in every notch. So you see, really nice uh, green bluish color everywhere. So I missed her on the feet. So. And the third layer. Well, that's it. I'll leave it to dry up for a bit and we get on to the next step. Okay, uh, next step. Uh, paint all the metallic parts of the, on the uh, marine, like the daggers, the vents on the backpack, the chain around his neck, the skull on his chest, the gun, and so on. Yeah, nothing uh, special about that. Just put it on. So. Uh, and try to be as delicate as possible because you don't want to paint all over the color shifting paint. There are ways to repair that if uh, accident happens. Uh, pretty easy but uh, there could be some... Uh, well, uh, it's... Uh, you lose the color shifting effect on the repair. The way you repair it is just put uh, well chain uh, lead belcher and uh, turquoise wash like quail green shade. That can fix mistakes. But if it's a big mistake, uh, it's better to just repaint the model. So yeah, paint the metallics. I'll be back with the next step. Okay, the next step is to uh, paint all the leather pouches, holsters, uh, leather, leather straps, and uh, the handle on the knife. Uh, for that I'm using uh, Gorthor Brown, uh, excellent color for leather. So, yeah, let's do it. again be really neat so you don't get uh, any of the brown on uh, the armor it's gonna be pretty hard to clean up afterwards so. 
Yeah, I'm back when I'm done with this step. Okay, the leather parts are done. So next step is to paint all the bone colors, uh, like on the skull and the and the tro all trophies bones there. Yeah, and for that I'm using uh, rack hot flesh. So we're gonna paint that. Really important to get uh, into the nooks and crannies of the skulls because uh, the um, color shifting paint is all over it so it doesn't show through. Maybe you have to put on two coats, two thin coats, as Duncan says. Yeah, I'll be back next up. Yeah. And the uh, next step is painting all the black. I'm painting black on the gun, uh, on all the well, between uh, where the ar between the armor plates, like here is in the in, uh, like behind the knees, yeah, and the guns. I'm back for the next step. Okay, that's all the black done. I forgot to tell you what black I'm using. I'm using uh, uh, Valeo Model Colors Black. Uh, that's a really nice black color, all perfectly matte finish. So next step is to put on uh, shades. I'm using Null Noil on all the metallics and Agrax on all the leather and the uh, skulls. So. Uh, and as in the other steps, be really careful not to spill on uh, the armor. Just keep it uh, within the lines. So, like that. Yeah, be back with the next step. Okay, uh, next step is pretty easy. Uh, add a highlight uh, the guns. The black areas on it. Uh, the simplest way is just what I do is uh, I just dry brush with mechanical standard grey. Uh, I will also do a dry brush on the leather part with uh, the same color I used for um, base paint, go through brown. See that? And uh, I will also touch up all the bone parts with the shabby bone. So uh, I'll be back with that's done. Well, that's it. Uh, the highlighting is done. Uh, next step is to do the lenses on the helmet. Uh, as you can see in the finished model, I'm going for the red glow. Uh, it really pops with this blue aqua armor. So uh, basically what I'm doing is uh, painting the eyes white. Then I put a yellow dot in the middle. I'm gonna touch dry. I put a red glaze of blood letter in it. So, uh, like that. And I try to fill the whole of the lens. So it's gonna make nice OSL like that. See, white. And I use flash kits. It's the brightest yellow I know. 
and just make a yellow dot in the middle like it's a fried egg see like that and when that's dry just apply blood letter red glaze see that's a bit too much so I just dry off the brush and then I like pull away the excess red then you get the yellow showing like that so three simple steps uh, yeah but well, the model is almost done uh, next step is just doing some uh, small detail work nothing fancy about that and putting on transfers uh, I will be back with a finished model so uh, this is the finished model the Alphalidian KS Space Marine. Uh, it's not that hard to make. Like this. Um, I'm gonna link uh, the colors I used uh, in the show notes. And uh, yeah, I put my Alpha Legion on a desert base because it uh, well, makes the bluish green pop even more same reason I use red eyes and like uh, like red uh, screens and even red uh, dots on the rifle so yeah this is how you paint uh, Alpha Legion Primaris with color shift paints uh, please uh, like subscribe and uh, leave a comment or ask me a question, uh, follow me on Instagram, same uh, name as this account, cryokinesi, and uh, yeah, thanks, bye.